Hey guys, Rebel J here with a brand new Total War Battle video. Today we are recreating the bloodiest battle ever fought on British soil, the Battle of Towton. The battle was fought during the Wars of the Roses on the 29th of March 1461 near the village of Towton between the forces of the future King Henry IV and the incumbent King Henry VI. On that day, over 50,000 soldiers fought for hours in a uh, very strong snowstorm in what has since been described as the largest and bloodiest battle ever fought on British soil. After hours of fighting, Edward IV was ultimately victorious. He defeated the Lancastrian forces of Edward VI and subsequently declared himself as King of England. As a result of the battle, the House of Lancaster was severely weakened, never really recovered, and the House of York became the dominant royal house until Henry Tudor took power from Edward's brother Richard III in 1485. The reason this battle was so bloody is that after many hours of bitter and bloody fighting, which was, you know, bloody enough on its own, the Lancastrian forces were actually routed and in the ensuing panic, thousands of those soldiers were either cut down by Yorkist soldiers or they were trampled into, under their own stampede or they drowned in the nearby river in the panic to escape. So it's a really uh, devastating and important battle which should be a lot of fun to recreate um, in this game. I am recreating this battle using the Medieval 12-12 AD mod for Total War Attila. I would highly recommend it and I'll put the link in the description if you did want to download it. Uh, before we begin I am just going to explain the setup for a little bit uh, so I can just say how I tried to recreate it as accurately as possible. But if you did just want to skip ahead to the battle, I will put a timestamp in the description so you can go ahead and skip straight to the action if you so wish. Okay, so I've tried to set this up as fairly and as accurately as possible. Um, it's a little tricky to replicate it completely accurately um, for a couple of reasons. One of the main advantages the Yorkist side had is that the wind direction was behind them, which gave them a great advantage in terms of archers. It meant they could sort of you know the wind would carry their arrows for them whereas the Lancastrians were shooting against the wind which is obviously a big disadvantage now I can't replicate that in this game you know that kind of mechanic just doesn't exist so to try and reflect that advantage I have given the Lancastrian side which I am playing here uh, just more units of archers than the Lancastrian side has just to try and reflect um, that sort of archer superiority um, another sort of aspect that I've tried to sort of balance is that the Lancastrians actually had more nobles fighting for them, almost double actually. Um, so to try and reflect that and to try and balance with the archers, I've given the Lancastrian side, the enemy side who we can't see at the moment, I've given them um, more uh, cavalry units, more knights on horseback. So uh, basically the army compositions are very, very similar, but um, this side has sort of more archers and a couple of units of cavalry and the other side is the other way around they've got a couple of units of archers and more cavalry just to try and sort of balance it all out another aspect that i can't really recreate is um one of the reasons the yorkists won is because they got uh, reinforcements uh, near the end of the battle the duke of norfolk arrived with more men um, he was late arriving to the battle which sort of turned the tide and then the yorkists broke the lancastrians and then they sort of run them down and that's when that whole sort of bloody panic ensued and all the sort of bloodshed happened um that i've mentioned previously so obviously i can't really the sort of total war doesn't really let me sort of engineer a dramatic entrance for the duke of norfolk to just suddenly arrive towards the end so i've just sort of started both sides with equal numbers just so it's kind of got that balance uh that balance there so in terms of the army composition they're both very similar um they've got some Got some uh, billmen, all the troops are late period, so we've got some billmen here and they are looking pretty fantastic in this snowy landscape. Uh, we've got some um, uh, men at arms here, just um, late sergeants, um, just for melee troops. Then in the middle, we've got some English foot knights for that sort of strong centre. Um, and then we have some archers and then some English knights on horseback over here, which I think the models are fantastic for these. I absolutely love how they look. And uh, in the middle here, we have the future king of England, spoiler alert, Henry IV um, of England. Where is he? There he is. And he's even got a crown on, the presumptuous bastard. Um, <laughs> so obviously in history, um, Henry IV did win this battle. And, um, you know, it set up his dynasty. It set up the House of York for the next for the next sort of 20 or so years um so i'm interested to see you know will this battle um you know will it recreate history will henry be victorious 
Um, or will the Lancastrians rewrite history and will they, you know, will Henry VI manage to uh, cling on to his throne? Um, so yeah, this is the sort of battlefield as well. Um, lovely snow effects. It's kind of a villagey kind of vibe to reflect the setting. Look at all these peasants here just milling about, not even registering. They're just going about, shoveling some snow about probably. So I'm going to try and leave this largely uninterrupted. I'm just going to move the troops forward and then just wait for the Lancastrian forces to arrive and to attack. Um, and then we can, you know, just sort of let the battle play out. So yeah. This is the setup. Here are the Lancastrians. Uh, I probably should have mentioned as well that Lancastrians is literally just another English force. So you see here they're English foot knights. So it's the exact same units on both sides. So there's going to be no disadvantage or advantage one way or the other. Look at this. Let's get into cinematic mode. Soldiers marching. This is one of the major battles of the Wars of the Roses. Um, there was an estimated, as I said, you know, 50, 60,000 people there by uh, by modern estimates. So this was a huge, huge battle. So just imagine that each one of these soldiers probably represents about 10 more. Here we have Edward calmly awaiting on the other side of battle. Yes, singers. Go on, lads. Sing us a song. Where are the foes worthy to meet me? <laughs> I don't know, pal. <laughs> I might just move them forward a little bit more. Actually, no, I think that's good. They're on the, they're on flat ground. I just want it all to be on a flat, good surface. So it's just uninterrupted, uh, uninterrupted battle there. Um, here they come. Oh, look. The peasants are fleeing. Flee from the army. <laughs> I love that. Look at this. Get out of here, peasants. Run for your lives. Look at this. Look at this old crone. She's not phased at all. Flee, old crone. What are you doing? Do you not see the massive horde of soldiers? There we go. Get out of here, you silly, silly old woman. <laughs> love that. Love the sight of all the peasants fleeing before the army. The massive clash about to occur. <laughs> They're all just fleeing. That's great. I love it. Don't run into the soldiers. What are you doing? <laughs> You're going the wrong way. Don't... Oh, foolish peasants. God. No sympathy for them. No sympathy. <laughs> okay. The Lancastrians are approaching. They're going to form up a bit. So we've got some cavalry already forming here. I might just angle these guys a little bit just to stop any sneaky maneuvers. I kind of want this to be a nice line on line battle. Yeah, look, they're trying to flank. Oh, they're charging in. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, and another charge. Ooh. Oh, my God, piling in there. Right into those, to those, to the sergeants. Well, those knights have broken already. Going into those billmen, that was probably a pretty bad idea. What's going on over here? Similar fate, straight into the billmen and repelled straight away. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Okay, here we go. Sorry, a bit of lag. There's a lot of guys on the field here. Brace for impact. Come on, lads. Charge in. Come on, AI. Get him in there. This is it. <laughs> Very slow charge. Here we are. That's it. Pile in. Here we are. Now the fighting's begun. Okay, let's whip these guys around. Let's just get them involved. Let's get these guys involved. We just want everyone involved. Oh, the lag. Let's get them all involved. 
Right, let's get down. Let's see this close-up action. Oh, look at the blood. The blood on the snow. I love it. So we've got some Lancastrian sergeants against some English foot knights here. Oh, there's some very bloody fighting going on here. I love this. I love this. Look at this. Two massive lines of men clashing. Steel, blood and snow. How are these guys doing? Some foot knights against some billmen here. Oh, that was nasty. Look at that, just, I love that. It's just a forest of spears and, and, um, and weapons. They're kind of pushing through there, that's interesting. Come on guys, do your work. Might have to probably bring these guys into the fight. Oh, I think they may have got some more cavalry running. Come on, cavalry, get in there and mess up. Oh dear, that's not good. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, look at this. This is ri I can't even tell who, which side is which at the moment, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh, there's a guy who fell headless there. Some people fleeing. Oh, <laughs> he just got fucked up. See how this side's doing. Oh wow, this is a bloody side this. To take out our general. Defend him. Here come those billmen. Come on, you're alright general, come on. Right, what is going on over here? Come on infantry, where are you? Get, get involved somehow. Oh no, you're running again. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's just get out of cinematic mode. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Okay, Billman. Get in here. You guys, get them. Let's get these. Come on. All of you. Put the bows away. Get in there. Go on, Edward. Your crown is riding on this. Fight them. Fight to the last man. Oh my god, look at this. Blood everywhere. Just go and get some foot knights. That's probably a bad idea. Some really, really strong fighting going over on this side. Look at all the blood and the bodies on this snow. That looks amazing. Yes, that's what we like to hear. You guys! To your king! To your king! And you guys! Get in there! Oh my god, the lag. The lag. You guys, you all need to get involved. The Yorkists have got the advantage. Yeah, we've got some archers in here chopping some lads up. Look at those, look at those reposts. Oh, that guy just got destroyed. Archers are playing some sword skills here. As I said, it's hard to tell who is actually fighting who when you've got the cinematic mode on. Get in there, all of you. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. It's a victory. The lads are cheering. Look at this guy cheering, covered in blood. Corpses all around. This guy's not cheering. This guy looks really hurt. Okay. Oh my god, more lag. Right, what's going on? Cinematic mode. Oh, there we go. It's over. Edward has... Re, re, 
recreated history and he has won the battle of Towton. Let's let's re replicate the route a little bit. Let's just get some charges going on. Let's get the cavalry involved. Let's just cut all these survivors down. You you don't think you're going anywhere, do you? Let's just cut all them down. Look at this. Oh, look at all the oh. dead men just buried in the snow. Look at this as well. Oh, look at all these bodies. Oh, all the blood's gone, but that was... Oh no, the blood's here. Look at that. All that armour and blood over the ground. That's it. Cut them down. You think you're escaping? You Lancastrian sod. How dare you. Cut him down. Cut him down. Cut him down. Go on. One of you at least. Where is, is, he, is he there? There he is. Come on. There we go. Ugh, took it in the neck. And he's dead. <laughs> There's some peasants still fleeing. Come on, you guys are slow. That's it. Run them down. Slaughter them all. Cut them down where they stand. Oh, this is great. Oh. Who's this? A nobleman. Famously, as well, a lot of noblemen were sort of killed and captured during this battle. Um, which is one of the reasons why it really cemented the Yorkist position. But, there we go. That is the Battle of Towton. I'll just let the cavalry run down some survivors. Because, you know... Let's just destroy them all. <laughs> but yeah, that was the battle. Uh, Edward has managed to recreate history. He's uh, claimed his uh, claimed the, the throne for himself. He's now Edward the Fourth. Well, he will be when he gets coronated. And yeah, I think the battle kind of lived up to his name. That was lots, lots of bloodshed, lots of bloodshed, lots of violence. A lot of people died. A lot of people died. I mean, just look at the piles of bodies going on here. Lots of fighting. Bodies over here. Horses. The lot. Archers are still going. And that happened as well. The archers uh, in the real battle when the men were running away. The archers just kept firing into them as they were sort of trampling. Going over bridges and through the rivers and things. So it was just an absolute massacre. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the units and uh, see what damage they caused. Decisive victory. Very true. Very true. Wow. So... Edward IV, otherwise known as Rebel J Gaming, <laughs> uh, lost 600 men and the Lancastrian forces lost over 1,700. Uh, obviously, in real life, it was a lot more. Uh, it's esti Actually, that's kind of pretty accurate for Edward. I think in real life, it's estimated to be in the high hundreds, mid to high hundreds, and then the Lancastrians was like the high, you know, like seven, eight, nine thousand. 9,000. Um, so, yeah, lots of bloodshed. I mean, look at some of these kills. 152... Edward got 36. Good lad. These uh, these man of arms, these sergeants, 107. Archers did some good work there as well. 186 for this cavalry unit. That's probably all the people they charged down. And we've got 52 on the general's unit there. Uh, 10, 5. Very poor showing there. One. So you see, uh, one unit. That's uh, That's pretty crazy. But yeah, that was cool. That was a really fun battle. Um, I really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, um, then please, uh, consider giving it a like and please subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. I'd really appreciate, um, you know, all the subscriptions and likes that the channel gets. It really, really helps me out. And I'm really appreciative of anyone who watches a video, especially if you've watched it all the way through. If you're still watching, massive shout out to you. Thank you so much. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any other battles you think I could tackle, uh, recreate, uh, either in the Medieval Kingdoms 12, 12 AD mod or in a different Total War game or another game in, t in, uh, in general, then l let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks very much for it, guys, and I will see you soon.